Welcome to slide number 7. It says using prompts. When it comes to encouraging reluctant writers, prompts are very very helpful tips. Now what are they? Offer a variety of prompts like giving the child a chance to write something from a given idea. Number 2. Use visual aids. What I would do is if it's a primary child, I would give a picture and ask whatever you see in the picture just write down. Though I'll, at the end of it I want him to write a story. But initially I would do just look at the picture whatever you see write down. If I do the same with a middle school child I would say write whatever you see and see and write what action the person is doing. For example if there is a cow or there is an animal uh, there is a man standing I would ask what is a man doing. So he would say okay the man is washing. So I would say alright write man is washing. And like this with these small visuals and prompts the child starts writing. Number three encourage brainstorming. Those who are already writing a little bit to encourage them to write more, allow them to brainstorm and give them wonderful ideas and discuss those ideas with them to encourage them to write and when they write make sure you are not looking at the full stop, the comma, the punctuation, the grammar, you are only looking at what the child is right. And number four is what I used to love doing in my center is write alongside. So we would take one paper and the child would write a few lines and then I would write a few lines in the same paper and the child would, what are we writing? We are developing a story or we are developing something which we went, we went for a visit for example to some, some place and when we come back we both sit and write, the child and me. He writes whatever he saw and then I write whatever I, I saw and that means the child is getting an opportunity to read what I write. So this way Children of different age groups need different kinds of prompts to help them to write. In a senior school what I would do is ask a child to read a page, who, the write, a child who is totally reluctant writer, I would ask him to read a page and from that page write down those sentences, just copy those sentences which the child has understood very well. So when the child has to copy down those sentences, he has to ensure he has understood for which he will reread the same passage or the same page two to three times, which is only making him a better reader, a, be a person who can comprehend better. And even if he writes about three to four lines from that paragraph or from that page, I have understood that the child is read couple of times before he wrote. So. Reading and writing is happening together. Thank you so much and you can apply all this and at the end do not forget to give a positive feedback for all the attempts the child is making to write. Thank you and see you in the next slide.